Hey everybody, today we're going to take a look at Indiana Jones from the Temple of Doom. Now I've got a couple of people I want to thank for this because I didn't even know these figures had come out. And what did I say them first? Count Stankus did an absolute masterpiece of a video on the vintage Kenner Indiana Jones line. And right at the end there were some of these other figures. Like, where have they come from? The next thing I know, along comes Arc Trooper Mark and he's telling us how great this line is. I was like, wow, these are brilliant. So I started ordering a few and you know what it's like when I start ordering things, I end up with tons of them. So I thought we'd take a look at everything I can find. So we're going to start with this one. This is the Temple of Doom Indiana Jones. I think this is from Wave 4, which would be the last wave. These are apparently the harder to get ones, but I managed to find a guy in Hong Kong who sells the entire wave for a really cheap price. So I just bought the lot. Now this line seems to be plagued with Indiana Jones figures, there's absolutely tons of them, but this one has got to be one of my favourite ones. It did come along quite late, so I think the face sculpt is a little bit better. And plus he's from the iconic scene on the bridge at the end of Temple of Doom, which was the one I grew up with, I was a bit too young for Raiders. And Last Crusade was good, but I would grown up a little bit by then. So this is the indie that I remember the most. So all these figures come on a pretty much identical card. We've got Indy's first there and we've got this meant to be the whip. They all include hidden relics, which is these little cardboard crate things there. And inside you get a little Kinder Egg Surprise type of um, relic. On the back, we get to see other figures in the wave. Now this is from wave four. So in this wave, we got Muller Arm, Temple Guard, Chief Temple Guard, Short Round, Willie Scott, and I think that's the Indiana Jones from the Raiders of the Lost Ark one. And then we've got a little bit of uh, description of Indy there. They're not bad, these card backs. They do remind me a bit of Star Wars. The thing with cards, I really don't like it when they take up a big bubble like that. I prefer the half ones so you can put them back to back. But I do like this line so much, I've got to get them all. So, so here we have Indy then. Now, for his articulation, they're all slightly different on these figures, so we'll go over it. We've got a swivel there, which they're always annoying because you've got that square bit. And then... You've got a bend at the knee. I think that's a bit. That's a ball hinge at the knee. He doesn't have anything at the ankles. This one. He's got a ball hinge at the shoulder, and a ball hinge at the elbow. Now, because his arms, he hasn't got a sleeve on or anything. They haven't put a hinge on his uh, hand, but on this side it does. So you can turn that hand at least. His belt. It looks like it would come off, but I'd probably break it if I tried. This little pouch you can take off. Now the great thing with this, it actually opens a little bit. If we can just lift it up, you can see the Sankara stones in there, which is a nice little touch. Totally didn't need to do that, but they did, so that's nice. The belt has a little hook on it there, which we can attach to the whip, which I'll do that shortly. And the face sculpt, it's not 100% Harrison Ford, but it's still pretty good. The hat doesn't come off, unfortunately, but that's probably for the best because you'd only lose it. And you can see he's got a five o'clock shadow there. So, one thing I want to point out with these figures, they have holes in the feet, which is great. So let's try some stands then. These are the stands you would use for the modern Star Wars figures that have the small peg. Now these figures are a bit inconsistent. They all have a similar size hole in the feet, but the depth of them don't always let you put the peg all the way in. So some figures stand better than others, unfortunately. See that one, it won't go all the way in. But it is tight enough to hold him up. So we'll keep him on the stand for the rest of the video anyway, so he stays up. So he also includes this whip, which is a sort of coiled up whip. Some of the indies have both. They have a coiled up one and they have the, the one that's unfurled that you can put in his hand. But this one doesn't come with that. Now these are a little bit bigger than the, the little hook that you've got to put them on. So they are a little bit fiddly. This one seems to be tougher to get on than some of the others. It's very flexible though, it doesn't feel like it's going to snap off. There we go, that's hooked on now. So you can give him his whip. Now he also comes with a machete. Unfortunately we've got bendy plastic. It comes out the packet like that. I mean it's thin enough to straighten but it's just a bit annoying why they can't give us a decent weapon there. So that does sort of fit in his hand. I think one of the hands it doesn't hold very well. Yeah, it might be that one. Yeah, it just falls out of that one. Let's try the other one. And he's going to have to be left-handed now. So there we go, he can hold his machete quite nice. That's about as close in as I can get for the face. You can see there, it's not a bad likeness at all. When you look at this compared to some of the older indie figures, this one's pretty good. 
So each of these figures features this Ticket to Adventure 3 and 3 quarter action figure redemption. Now there is a UK version of this, well Europe as well, and then there's a separate US and Canada version. And depending on where the card is from, they'll have a different sticker on the side. This one, that is the American version. And inside you've got this little bit. What you do is you get these relics and each relic has a little sticker with it. And you collect six and mail it in. Obviously this is out of date now. And what you got was the Crystal Skull skeleton thing from uh, the Crystal Skull movie. So let's take a look at his relic then. This is the one that comes with this figure. Now these get sort of crushed in the in the packets when you get them. It's unfortunate but it is only made of cardboard. And also once you clip the tape you can't really make it look much like a crate anymore other than tape it back up. So in this one we got, and this is very like Kinder Surprise toys, we have the Easter Island statue. And there's the little sticker thing that you would put on the uh, the mail-in form. So this one's not bad. Some of the ones you get are a little bit out of scale, or a lot out of scale sometimes. But this one, that could go quite nice with the figures. And it's a bit of extra play value, something for Indy to be doing. So there you go guys, that is Indiana Jones from the Temple of Doom. This has been Luke, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.